but there's a dozen ways that we've been told to preserve velvet. Hey guys, it's AJ Pizzoli here with Velvet Antler Technologies. So you are lucky enough to draw a tag during a velvet season. You put it in your pocket, head off into the woods, and fill the tag on the buck or bull of a lifetime. Some of the biggest questions that we get at Velvet Antler Technologies is, what do we do once the buck or bull is on the ground? It's a great question and one that we deal with all the time. There's a couple things that we wanna make sure that you do correctly. One of which, while this is beautiful and we wanna feel it, that's our initial instinct, don't ever touch the velvet. There's oils on human skin that will immediately start eroding and degrading that as well as the lack of oxygen is gonna start depleting it from the inside. So one thing that we always recommend, aside from not touching it, is if you, if you must move your animal, whether it be to cape him out, um, you know, butcher, do whatever you need to do, you wanna to touch on the head, the face, and around. So for instance, if I was going to move this beautiful caribou, I would not grab the velvet and pick him up and move him. Again, my oils are gonna get on there. We wanna go around the bases, around the front, or around the actual nose muzzle area and lift this bull. So just like the cape, the velvet antlers themselves can go bad, right? They're both fueled by blood and oxygen. One of your biggest factors in the success of keeping velvet antlers as well as your cape is gonna be the heat, right? So the first thing we wanna do is try to get that cool off as much as possible. And I wanna be clear on this when I say, I'm not saying to dunk it in a cooler, put it in a stream, or put it you know, in any place that would damage the velvet. Again, the goal here is to not touch it, right? So with minimal impact, we want to try to get that in the shade or get it in as cool of temps as possible. Whether you're, you're early August on an early season hunt, I will tell you, as you get later into that season, this truly does become more sensitive. It's like, you know, the greatest analogy I can use is if you've ever held an overripe peach and you happen to apply any pressure at all, your thumb goes right in it or it slides the, the, the peach hair or the peach skin, if you will, right off. That's the exact same thing with velvet. So again, you get the bucker bowl on the ground. The question is, what do I do first? Do I take care of the velvet or do I take care of, you know, caping out and getting the meat off? Take care of the hide, take care of the meat, take care of getting it caped up to where you want it. As soon as you have that, again, using the head and the neck and the cape, move that into the shade. If you have the opportunity, I would recommend getting them in a freezer or getting them in, you know, a walk-in refrigerator or something cool enough to keep the process of necrosis from occurring. So as most of you guys know, there's a dozen ways that we've been told to preserve velvet. Our solution, simple, easy, light, packable, velvet lock. Comes in the 12 ounce bottles that you can throw in your pack, keep in the trailer, keep on the four wheeler, horse, whatever it is. And we have a gallon size for your taxidermist and those guys that go through a lot of the product. So velvet lock is revolutionary in the fact that it sets, dries, and preserves velvet on any animal for a lifetime. We have trophy mounts that are 15 years old that look just as good as the day they were harvested. No cracking, no hair slip, no peeling, no smell, no nothing. So once you have the animal on the ground and you've taken care of the meat and the hide, you're gonna pull out your bottle of Velvilock and you're gonna apply it. Again, application is simple. Turn the tip, keep within one inch, apply the product from the tips down, hitting every which way, all the way down to the bases, one application and you're good to go. So once you've completely coated the velvet antler, again, all sides, front, back, underneath, uh, you're going to set this aside and let it do its work. Typically, depending on the weather and the climate, it's going to be about 72 hours and your velvet antlers will be fully preserved for a lifetime. One thing to note and one thing we get a lot of questions on that we need to change your mindset in the industry is once a velvet lock has been applied to the velvet antler, it wants to be in the sun. The UV light is the activator for velvet lock. The biggest mistake people make is that once they apply it, they try to put it back in a cooler or back in a freezer. And I will tell you, it will not work. It does not work. You don't have an opportunity for this to be activated and go between the actual velvet membrane and the bone to preserve it from the inside out. You'll know when Velvet Lock's done its job, you'll literally walk up to the antler. First of all, very lightly, very lightly, just touch the tips and make sure we're, we have no wiggle. The second thing would be when you feel it, you'll feel that it's hard as a bone, literally supple, soft on the velvet, hard as a bone on the inside. Uh, you'll know because it will be exactly that. The webbing will be nice and tight. There won't be any smell to it. Uh, typically it takes 72 hours to do, but again, that can vary a little bit depending on geographic location. So Vevelock was actually created out of a necessity. It was the literal backcountry hunters like you and I that found a need for something like this on the mountain. We were sick of carrying nasty cancer causing formaldehyde and needles and trying to figure out how to inject and how to hit every single one of those veins to get that blood out of there to truly and accurately preserve the velvet. We had many failed attempts at this. And so we kind of created the need and found the industry also had a need for what we call Vevelock. Uh, you know, it was one of those where the guide himself was in the Nevada backcountry guiding in extreme heat and noticed that a lot of their clients were paying good money to go out and harvest these beautiful animals. And unfortunately, they were either stripping the velvet 
or the velvet was dying off to get it back to a taxidermist. Velvet Antler Technologies can be found on Instagram at Velvet Antler Technologies, online at www.velvetantlertechnologies.com. Hey everybody, it's Devin Archibald here with Epic Outdoors and Epic Optics. Just out here uh, finishing up our morning uh, glassing and uh, just want to talk about optics. It's time of year out, out here in the west. We're starting to scout these summer months and uh, we don't go anywhere without good quality optics. We kind of live and die by them out here in the west. So if you're interested in getting some optics, whether it be binocular spotting scope, range finders, uh, we carry most major brands. We carry Vortex, Leica, Zeiss, Swarovski, and Sig Sauer. If you're in the market for some new optics, give us a call 435-263. 0777 for the best pricing in the industry. 